Hi, it's David at PDF Automation Station. In some of the previous videos, we set up some global settings for some exhibit stamps. And this is one right here. It was a yellow exhibit stamp. And I'm going to show you how to use that and how to use the local settings. So the first time the first time you use that stamp on a PDF, you'll see this window and this is the, the local settings. The global settings stay all the time for that stamp, like the background color, the header, the footer, stuff like that. The local settings um, stay with this PDF no matter when you close it or reopen it later, doesn't matter. Uh, it will remember where you left off. So I can do a prefix, which will be in front of the number each time. Let me do that. I'll put a capital A and a dash. I'm going to select automatic incrementing. I'm going to select number for the incrementing. And it says add leading zeros if desired. So next number, let's do that. I'll put two zeros and a one. I won't select manual entry and I won't select open local settings next time stamp is applied. If I select either of these, this window is going to pop up every time. For manual entry, that would be something where you don't have incrementing and you're just typing something in this uh, window each time. So we'll click OK. There's my A001 and the stamp's still activated here. That's because I have Keep Tool Selected activated. So there's my A002, 3, 4, 5. If I want out of this, I just press the Escape key and that deactivates the stamp. Now, let's say I want to go back and change something in my local settings. I'll go to my toolbar here for the, the exhibit stamp. And you see these are the global settings for the five unique stamps you can create. There's also something that says show local settings. I'll just click that. So what happens is the next time I stamp this particular PDF, uh, that window will pop up and I can change my my settings. So it's showing the next number here as 006. I'm going to change that. Let's see. Uh, let's go with 111. So that's going to be my next number. Since I did that, I've got to select auto incrementing and number. And make sure you unselect the local settings so it doesn't pop up next time. I'll click OK. So there's my 111, 112, 113, 114, and today's date at the bottom. I'm going to press Escape. I'm actually going to close this PDF. Save changes, yes. I will reopen that and so those um, the global settings again they're always there until you change them so this stamps always yellow it always says exhibit it always stamps um, today's date at the bottom as far as the local settings go that's for this this unique PDF here so it will remember, it doesn't matter when I reopen this two weeks from now, it's going to remember that I have, it's not going to open the, the local settings next time. It's going to, it should stamp 115 with today's date. And let's go ahead and, and do that. 
115, 116, 117. Press escape. Let's go back, show local settings. I'm going to change some things again. So let's do um, auto incrementing again. Let's go with a letter sequence this time. And there's two different ones. They're just different after run through the alphabet once, then they both go to double A, but this one will be double B, double C, etc. This will be A, B, A, C, A, D. Make sure you put the letter you want. Let's go with Y. Make sure you unselect this because you don't want this window to pop up again. Click OK. There's your Y, Z, Z in Canada, Z in the USA, double A, double B, double C. And that's it. Thanks for watching.